Well, good morning, beloved. This is your girl, Sharon, once again from my front seat. And here I am giving God all praise, honor, and glory for what? For a brand new day. It is Tuesday. Today is the 8th of January, 2019. Oh, 8, new beginning. And God, he has blessed us to once again uh, be a part of this day. Um, he did not have to allow us to view this day, but he did. And for that, beloved, we ought to be glad. So I'm here. I'm in the workplace, sitting in the cafeteria, 4.30 bus this morning. I forgot to fill my tap card yesterday. Thank the Lord. Um, I had $5 handy. Amen. And so um, we give God the glory. So I'm here. And as I got on the bus and as I read Proverbs 8, hmm. Do you remember that song, maybe somewhere in the 90s, uh, Silver and Gold, Silver and Gold, I'd rather have Jesus than Silver and Gold, uh, no fame or fortune, no riches untold, I'd rather have Jesus than Silver and Gold. Well, um, today as I was reading this morning Proverbs 8, again, Proverbs, it gives us wisdom. It teaches us instructions from the Lord. And what we've got to do is seek God for his wisdom. So it lets us know that we should take his wisdom over silver, over gold. Um, one of the verses goes on to say that all those things that are desired can't even compare to the wisdom of God. So there are many things that we desire in life, and rightly so. Um, you know, you get up, you go to work every day, or you save your money. There are certain things that you desire, uh, be it an automobile, uh, be it a, a, a new home, um, be it um, a vacation. We, we desire these things. However, all of those things that we do desire, we have hobbies. And, and, and we're able to enjoy these hobbies. Why? Because of the blessings of God. And I realize someone is saying, but I get up every morning, I go to work. This is true. But it is God who enables us to get up and go to work each morning. It is God who makes a way for us to enjoy the things that we have. Because there are people with uh, who are better morally than we'll ever be. And God hasn't blessed them the way he's chosen to bless you or I. So we've got to know it is by the grace of God. How many people who have always done the right thing have gotten caught up with situations, right? And so, beloved, we've got to know it's the grace of God. Okay, so the scripture says all those things that we desire, they don't even compare to the wisdom of God. Beloved, they do not compare uh, they, 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 they can't be compared to. So what we've got to do is seek the Lord God for wisdom, hear his words, get his understanding, and pray and ask God for understanding. He'll give it to us. Yes, he will. Okay. Then it goes on to say that if you seek me, you'll find me. Beloved, all we've got to do is seek for him. Where are my keys? Where are my keys? Where are my keys? And we do what? We find our keys. We don't just say, oh, I can't find my keys. Oh, well, whatever. No, eventually you get up. And if you knew the night before you couldn't find them, you're going to get up early to begin looking for those keys. Beloved, same thing with God. Seek him. Seek him early. His word goes on also to tell us in Proverbs 8 that... Um, if we are going to choose to love evil, then we're hating God. When we choose to love God, then guess what? We're hating evil. And in loving God, we seek God. I should have written that point down. Hmm. In fearing the Lord, we hate evil. When we fear the Lord, there are certain things that we just will not do. Now, there may be some things we're going to do. But there are still some things that we just will not do. Why? Because we fear the Lord. All right. So let's see. I think I really need to clean my glasses, but they don't seem to ever just come clean. So maybe it is time for some new glasses. So I'll tell you what God did for me. Have you ever heard that expression? Um, there's an exception to every rule. We know in life there are rules, and then every now and then there's an exception to the rule. 
Beloved, as a child of God, we will often find ourselves being that exception. So I shared with you all how on the 26th of December, um, I had an injection. That injection caused my blood sugar to skyrocket like well over 400, right? I guess y'all say every time she tells the story, it go up. <laughs> okay. Nevertheless, I ended up in the emergency room. I was taken off work the next day, right? So I bring all my documentation when I return to work. And workers' comp is like, we're not covering that. And I said, well, I ended up in the emergency room as a result of the injection that I had gotten when I had my workers' comp doctor's appointment. And they're like, yeah, but your doctor didn't check this box or didn't change that. So therefore, we are not going to honor this and we are not going to pay you. Hmm. I understand what you're saying. However, because your doctor did not write what a what a what a what a woo we are not going to pay you for either day. Well, okay. Well, I guess I'll use my sick time. Beloved, I have two supervisors, and they said one way or the other, you're going to get paid. And I just really thought they would say, well, Sharon, use your sick time. Mm -mm. Nope. They said, we are going to take this to the seventh floor if we need to. And I don't know who they took it to. And they're right, workers' comp did not pay me. However, I spoke with the lady on yesterday, and she says to me, she said, we have all of your documentation. She said, and we are going to pay you for the 26th and for the 27th. Although workers' comp will not be sending a voucher where they are going to pay you, she said, we are going to pay you for the 26th and for the 27th. She went on to say, you, ma'am, are an exception. I just need you to fill this paper out. You are an exception. Beloved, when it comes to walking with the Lord, when it comes to keeping God first, beloved, although rules are set and rules are in place, now they say there's an exception to every rule. I don't know. I do know as a child of God, God will move heaven and earth to bless us. God will cause men who don't even know you to look at a situation and oftentimes we can just get caught in situations now that workers comp lady and supervisor maybe they were just doing their job understanding what had occurred but because the doctor wrote blah 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 and not da 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 she said we are not going to pay you I said in the past it's always been like this I've been paid she said, but we are not going to pay you. And she did her neck like that. And I said, ma'am, I think it's best that I just leave your office. And I did. And beloved, God went to bat for me. And the woman said on yesterday, you are the exception. Beloved, I've talked way too long. Let me get off this phone, heat up my oatmeal have my breakfast and then get upstairs and render unto Caesar those things which belong unto Caesar. And if it be the Lord's will, we will meet again on tomorrow from my front seat. This is your girl Sharon. I'm out y'all. Deuces.